character creation time. This is Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord with the Old Realms mod. Came out with an update about a week or two ago. They added some stuff in there. Um, we're going to... Oh, and if you get this mod, um, the first thing you should probably do once it's up and running and everything works fine is you want to do your build your shader cache. And what this does is it um, basically pre... it puts all the models into the cache files so that they load faster uh, once the game is up and running because if you don't do that once the game once you're in running the storyline and stuff and you start fighting battles um, if you haven't done the build the shader cache is you have to wait for those um, shader files to get built um, for the units that are going to be within that fight so do this it, it depends on your computer it depends on how long this will take they say anywhere between 20 to 60 minutes to get everything built and um, you'll see why <laughs> you'll see why so um, yeah so that's uh, highly recommended you do that in the meantime into the old world so and again this is Warhammer Fantasy I think there's what uh, the Empire. There's a couple of Empire factions. Vampires are in here. The Wood Elves are here. Um, there are Beastmen running around as uh, Troublemakers, I think. I don't think they're an actual faction you can play. Uh, but we'll see what factions we can actually do here in a second. There we go. So we have Empire of Men, Bretonia, Vampire Counts, Azrae, which are the Wood Elves, Aeonir, I don't know who that is, and Muslan. This is the the vampires in the Bretonian space. So who's Aeonir? I don't know this one. But we're not playing them anyway. Um, so I guess quite, the main thing is, do we want to do vampire stuff or wood elf stuff? Yeah, I'd have to, I forgot to look this up. I saw it the other day and I couldn't figure... I didn't, it didn't ring any bells. So I'd have to look it up but I forgot to. But these are all basically in the same part of the, of the, the continent. Because the world is not done. It's still being worked on. Um, I think I saw on their Discord the other day that they're taking a break from development for a while while they get everything situated here with this newest update. And um, But they, they said they're not done. <laughs> they're not done yet. So, um, I don't know. Vampires? Stuff. Okay, equals Wood Elves. And there is Wood Elves. Hey, Grim, welcome back. So, Aeonary or Wood Elves? Really? Huh. I guess you can see where they are. The Aeonary are an enclave of Wood Elves dwelling in Lorlorn, Lorlorn Forest. Although they share a similar origin to the Azrae, the cousins in Athalorian, they are considered less an isolationist, engaging and peaceful, though occasionally strained diplomatic relations with the men of the Empire. So they must be on the western border of the forest then. Azrae are wood elves. Aeonir are the Lorelar elves. Yeah, yeah, the Azrae are, def are definitely elves. I know that. It's just these guys I've never heard of before. I wonder why they felt the need to do that. And how that how these guys play into this 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 game is an interesting because they're supposed to be less isolationist, engaging and peaceful, though occasional strength. So basically they're just they're still wood elves. They're just not as isolationist. <laughs> they're, they're more friendly. Been decades since you read Tolkien, um, but yeah, they're a different flavor of elves. Culturally distinct, meaning they drink less wine. That's that's the interpretation I'm getting between the difference between the two. Is these guys just don't drink as much wine? So we're gonna go with the drunks. Okay, the Azrae are the elvish inhabitants of Athalorian. They are suspicious, isolationists, and savage keen who live their land surrounded by the nature of Athalorian. Their magical forest home is a dangerous 
is as dangerous as it is beautiful, and its unforgiving nature has sharpened the skills of its people to raise a ridge. The Azrai live under the teaching of Nisha and Kornos as hunters and warriors defending the weave and natural world. But darker voices uh, seek to tempt them to slaughter and mayhem. Do you wonder who that could be? And hold up a pinky while drinking. Oh, those are the Aonir that probably do that. How uh, the appearances. Okay, so that body. Looks like he's got kind of a gut. Move up! Oh, he can't change his voice. To the walls! Climb the ladders! Oh, why does he sound French? Pick your targets! Oh, he's just uh, cycling through the voices. That's no voice. Make a circle! Line up! To the walls! Climb the ladders! An elf with a French accent. Advance! Yeah, we'll stick with that one. Hip size, that's not good. But size. Calf's calf size? Okay, see so, yeah. him. Okay, we're good there. Faces. So usually we do this is just try and middle of the road for the face stuff, and then we go back and see what that looks like after that. That's not a bad face. The eyes are gonna need a little bit of work though, I think. I don't know why they did that. So eyebrow depth. The thing is, is once the funny part about spending all this time here is once you get into better gear and whatever, you never see these faces again. A lot of big eyes. Better like depth. It's kind of hard to see shape that doesn't how it changes the angle of the eyes there in there not gonna look freaky at all <laughs> symmetry <laughs> And then the eye color. Other than, I guess it doesn't really matter for enough, does it? We've got the silver-ish eyes. Okay, the nose. Eh, that nose is satisfactory, I think. The chin. Chin could use some work. Or the face could use some work. So I'll average these guys out again. Sort of, kind of. That's not too horrible. I can live with that. Okay, the hair. So not a lot of hairstyles. Bald elf? No. Ponytail elf? Sort of, kind of. Ick. So horrible. Definitely not an elf. So there's two ponytails. I'm sure I like that one or that one. I think we're gonna go with that one. No ponytail, just the longer hair. I can live with that. As far as tattoos and stuff go, um, nah, go plain faced. Okay, so choose your origin. Student of Daith. Uh, you were taken under the wing of Day, the master smith of the Azrai. Under his tutelage, you learned his, the secrets of forging enchanted weapons and armor. Your skills in crafting are matched only by your prowess in battle, making you a formidable warrior and a skilled artisan. Probably. Survivor of the forest. When you were raised by the forest, it took decades until you got in touch with the other Azrai. Uh, while you were only slowly adapted to the Azrai society, you learned to speak to the forest itself. 
veteran of mountain conflicts. You have faced the hardy dwarfs and numerous skirmishes. There's no dwarfs in this, though. In the Grey Mountains surrounding Athelorium. Your experiences in these rugged battles have honed your skills and resilience, making you a more enduring, endurant warrior of the forest than most. To be a little bit more clear, Anna, are more in between uh, Osir and Azrai. Osir are the High Elves, right? Minor noble of Athaloran. Born in a minor and noble family of Athaloran's halls, you were raised with the finest education and training of the Green Way. Your noble lineage afforded you the best tutors in both combat and diplomacy. Guardian of An An Anmir. Anmir the Witherhold is a blighted and festering well, tainted by Morgur's foul blood. As a result, beastmen raiding parties flock to Anmir like a moth to a flame. You are one of the Azrai that always responded to An Anmir's call to arms and with zeal and a strong sense of duty. Where that hold will not fall to the vile beasts. I'm going to go with Student of Death. I know the Druki are the Dark Elves. I just the Azur. Just Why don't we just call them High Elves, Wood Elves, and Dark Elves? It's so much easier. Anyway, so Student of Death, so we can do the smithing stuff, because I'm curious to see what that's like now. I haven't seen it in this mod in a while. Okay, you spent most of your life venerating one of the Azrite deities, Karnos the Hunter. Kithban symbol. I don't know what the Kithban symbol is. The god of the hunt in the wild realms in the elven pantheon. All elves revere him, but Karnos is uh, dearest to the wood elves, who consider the god of the hunt the father of their race and believe their way of life is the most aligned with the ways of Karnos. Isha, the mother, the elven goddess of nature, fertility, beautiful harvest, and the protector of the all things natural, El Wood Elves firmly believe that Azrai, mage queen, Ariel, is a living avatar of Isha, uh, bringing her with the uh, will to into the realm of the mortals. Loic, the shadow dancer, the god of trickery, laughter, and music, as well as a patron of Azrai war dancers. Loic is a mysterious de deity, as the servants guard the secrets of his rituals. The trickster god's followers are famous for performing intricate dances that uh, retell the history of Athaloran. Loic also holds a darker side as the god of shadows, stealth, and vengeance. Hey, Scabbard, welcome back. Val the Maker, the god, elven god of smiths, artisans, and craftsmen. Val was in injured by Cain during the ancient wars of the gods, which left him crippled and blind. But that doesn't stop the tenacious, tenacious smith god, for still he labors day and night to the benefit of his kin. Some of the mightiest uh, artifacts ever uh, wielded came from Vault's Forge, uh, including the dreaded Widowmaker, the Sword of Cain. Anath Rama, the goddess of the savage hunt. Anath Rama, sister of Tecane, is the dark mirror to Kornos, a savage predator whose only interest is in spilling the blood of lesser creatures. Though she is publicly spurned in Lauren, some realms seek her patronage and more Azrai than most would suspect to dedicate at least a few of their kills to the Savage Huntress. All Anatha Ramus seeks uh, from her followers is the death of prey, from uh, dragons to rats, all of it pleases her. So these symbols, I'm guessing this is a magic symbol of some sort, but I think we're going to stick with Fall simply because we're looking at her stuff over here on the left. Getting smithing up, you know, the three bars would be nice. It's going to hurt our fighting abilities a little bit, but we're not done yet. Choose your path. Path of the War Dancer. You're a warrior, dancing the path of Loic. As a war dancer, your agility and grace as combat is on, are unparalleled. You move with fluid precision, turning battle into a deadly dance. The Way Watcher. You're a seasoned scout, protecting and watching the, of, out the security of the forest. You become one with your bow with unmatched prow prowess. Spell singer. You are a spell singer uh, who will study the high or dark magic. You will understand the nature of this magic wood and will protect it like the Mage Queen herself. Spell singer career. We want your career. Glade Rider. As I live with their mounts in harmony with like no other, you decided in your early years to become one with your horse. This is a Warhammer mod. Path of the Warden. Athalorian needs protection, even from within. As a warden, you swear to protect the woods from any threat. So, I'm thinking either Waywatcher or Spellsinger. So, 
no bows. So that still gets our bow up to uh, two bars. No spellcraft. Spellcraft is going to start down there. So we can always learn more bows. I don't know how magic works. I forget how magic works. Yeah, Skybird, I knew somebody was going to take that too far. I think we're going to start with the spell singer. I think we'll start with the spell singer. Ah, difficulty. Uh, we usually do custom. Damage is realistic. Friendly troops received is realistic. Recruitment difficulty. Um, we'll leave that a very easy so that we always have some troops to go or get. Because they usually get drained pretty quickly. Back movement speed. We'll take the 10% bonus so we can actually catch things. Uh, persuasion. Uh, we'll do realistic. Combat AI. It's uh, the difference. Leave it at normal. They cheat anyway. Uh, clan member death possibility in battles reduced by 100%. So this is um, people that are members of our clan. How does that... If I remember right, there's actually no creating kids in this mod. So we're going to reduce that by 100%. Hero deaths in combat. Disable battle death for all heroes. These are people you recruit. Outside, they're outside of your family. You basically, pick them up in taverns. You pay a lot of money for them usually. So we want them to die. Apparently, that's not a thing we can turn off. So no problem. How to allocate clan member perks? No. Iron Man mode? God no. <laughs> that's it. So our flag. Sorry, banner. There's little dogs. That's what we like. Background color. More of a green ish. Sigil. Black. Sure. There you go, the size of that. Not tiny, you want to be like that so it shows up better on the shield. Wow, it's not centered. Okay, good. And family name. As always. Gimpy the elf. So, we're rid of course, student of death, and growth. We did the ball maker, so we're doing Smithy. Once we get the ability or get some money to do that. A little bit of trade. And intelligence is two, discipline is three. We got a little bit of magic. And that's where we are. So choose your lore. Uh, lore to specialize in. Fire, light, heavens, or metal. Um Fire. <laughs> Why not fire? Okay, so. No parties, just me. Inventory. We got a nice funny looking circlet. We got a friggin' dagger. No real armor at all. We're so gonna die. But comets. Comets. Screw comets. Fires. Fires closer. So we have, what? Oh, the smithing thing. So smithing, do we want to start off with being an efficient charcoal maker or iron maker? Charcoal always first. Charcoal. Right, they put us on the map. So this is the world as we know it. So as you can see, it is not complete. That's Bretonia up here. Got some empire to the east. Got the vampires farther to the east. And then 
and still Empire and the Worst Widows. Yes, we start off as a party of one. How much money do you have? A thousand. And nearest Widow's town is up there. Down here, this is the city though. Let's go see what's over there. Hey, you gained a level already. Just by running. Okay, so this is a little village. You can recruit troops here, which we're going to. Wow, that's a nice little batch. Okay, now they're going to want food. Because, you know, hunger. This is over the lower right-hand right -hand corner. This is our stuff that we're carrying around. Or our status. So, this is our money. Currently going to cost us 25 gold to pay the troops. Uh, we have no influence yet. Gimpy's health is currently 100%. We have 12 troops ready to go. We have no food. Party morale is at 49. We have no art artillery. Um, party speed is how fast we can move. Obviously. No active blessings. That's how far we can see. And daily party wage. So that's that. Wins a magic of 2. Maximum 17. So it takes time to build Winds of Magic back up. And Forest Harmony. I don't know what this is. Forest Binding is used to upgrade and maintain troops of the Wood Elves, as well as retrieve upgrades at the Oak of Ages. Current active symbol. Kithban symbol. Increase your party size by 50%. Uh, Forest Harmony gains decreased by 25%. Wages are increased by 15%. Forest Harmony unbound. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Next rank is bound change. So I'm not sure, sure how that's going to work. So anyway, we did our troops, the kind of food we have, grain, 26. Now we have to look at our, the names of the little villages and see a little icon next to it. It's hard to see with the trees, but that right there, that's their specialization that they're selling. In this case, this was... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that symbol is supposed to be. <laughs> Typically, we work, look for something that looks like a grain of some kind. It looks like grain. It's like a little helmet there, but that's a city. I don't know what the green stuff is. Shrine of all. Vol's anvil. Still. Who are you guys? Azrai Master Trader. I'm interested in trading. What kind of products do you have? Tell me about your journeys. What do you have? He's got a horse. Sumter horses are good for their civilian uh, unit. They're used for carrying uh, stuff, and they can slaughter for food if you need it. Or wine. So not selling any food. That horse, I don't know if it's a good price or not. Upper right-hand corner, we can currently carry 250 worth of stuff. We'll pick up the horse, and that'll boost up uh, by 100. Uh, so, let's see you. Got to need more money now. Uh, we can buy some grain over here from these pesky little humans. Grain should be a little bit cheaper here. A little bit. It's almost half the price that we was, would, it would have been from that elven city. So how much food are we going to need? I don't know. Expected change. It's only 0. 0.6. Stays until no food. Two. So do 11. That's 20. So that's 200, so a month's worth of food with this amount of people. So that'll work for now. No, we don't want to recruit any humans. And why is that? Because these guys, this is their upgrade tree. Or So as the troop, the, as we fight, or if Gimpy was a good 
um, trainer. They'd be picking up experience on a regular basis. As they pick up enough experience, they get the level up, which costs you more money, makes it more expensive to maintain or pay. In this case, these are the infantry side of things, or cavalry as well. And these, of course, you can see are the archers side of things. So when these guys level up, you can choose infantry or archer. And then down here, you get to choose between these two as well. And it's forced this too. So the Eternal Warden, this is uh, going to be straight up uh, infantry. And these guys are, you know, cavalry. So we'll see how this goes. But anyway, so that's them. These are the, the basic, basic uh, troops for the elves. Every faction has, you know, the basic guys you get out of uh, out of uh, little villages. And then you can usually get a slight... You have a chance to find um, better stuff at towns or cities. Like the halls of Anarith up here. And this is new. Basically little random encounters as you're traveling through the, the, the countryside. As it gets dark, you and your men set up camp. And as the night goes on, you can see that your men have broken off into two groups. One seems to be telling war stories while the others are just talking. What will you do? Listen in on the story of the hunt. Plus a thousand experience for scouting, throwing, and tactics. Join in the discussion of traveling. Plus 1,500 experience for riding and athletics. Tell your men to get some rest. All companions healed and all wounded troops rest restored. We don't have any of them. So, scouting, throwing, and tactics, or riding and athletics. Let's do scouting, throwing, and tactics for now. Amidst the crackling of the campfire, a grizzled soldier's voice carried a tale of stealth and pursuit. The flickering flame seemed to mirror the anticipation in the eyes of his company companions as they leaned in to listen. Listen up, lads and lasses, the soldier began. Let me uh, regale you with the tale of our last hunt. It was a moonless night, our steps guided by shadows and the rustling leaves. Our scouts moved through the underbrush, uh, eyes sharp and senses alert as we sensed a minotaur. As the story unfolded, the soldiers felt themselves drawn into the narrative, experiencing the thrill of the chase and the tensions that hung in the air. The storyteller's words painted a vivid picture of cunning and strategy, and by the time the tale concluded, the soldiers had a newfound appreciation for scouting and the art of the hunt. Ta-da! Gained another level. Aren't I lucky? Why won't you share peace stories? Because it's not. I'm not the storyteller. Welcome back, Ray. I wasn't telling the story. Somebody else was. <coughs> so, here's some troops. And the city's been cleaned out by somebody. For recruit process purposes. Trade. Oh, a workhorse. I should have saved my money for a workhorse. Much cheaper than a sumpter. Oh, I can actually use that summer sumpter as a mount, too. But I have no bridle. See what we can find. I need a bow too. Look, a mounted hunting bow for 300. How much money do I have? 149. It's no horse. Need more money. I got nothing to sell. That bow. Anyway, is there a saddle for bright? So a rugged fur saddle. Uh, this is all outside of my price range for the most part. It is. I can't afford anything here. Oops. Hey, Rain, Oops. welcome back. Is that all you can say? That was really poorly done. That's a stupidly fancy hat. That is a wood elf circlet. It's not even a hat. It's a circlet. He's a spellcaster ring. This is a Warhammer mod. Yep. These are, we're currently playing the Wood Elves. Where I'm playing at Wood Elf. I need more money. Like now. So, and also we can go to our tavern district and. At least this the Glade Captain. How much is she going to cost us? So she's basically a hero. Yeah. Wine here tastes like piss. Anyway, what do you want? That's a very elf like voice. It's a very elf like voice. <laughs> Is it complete? No, it's still being worked on. 
da 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 story story. Enjoy my company. Use your troops to victory. How much do you have me? We'll discuss it. I can use someone like you in my company. Ten grand. Can't afford that. I am broke. It's gonna be a problem with little branches? Probably. Center. We got no stuff to do here. I'll try to do like that. Seems cool. It should be. So we did level up. We got two points to spend. Um, what is the question? I'm going to go with stewardship because the stuff you get there eventually. And medicine. Great. Oh, Start it there. Tactics. Personal situation simulate. Oh, this is simulation stuff. Decreases the sacrifice troops when trying to get away. Yeah, I should probably work on tactics. Actually, scouting is uh, pretty good. It allow us to travel faster and that kind of thing. So, there's that. Now, magic and stuff. We could, is there a way to see our magic? I think there's a special button I'm supposed to press. It doesn't show up here. So, this is our family stuff. We don't have a family yet. Yeah, but I know one of the keys. So, we need to find somebody to beat up on or find some quest to do. This is somewhat proper north and south. Just lost 25 gold to paying these guys off. Oh, I went to check out the Shrine of Raw. See what that's for. First lower left hand corner there's stuff going around around the world. To see some of the more important stuff. Great to receive the blessing of ball. Rain. It began to level. So we got a blessing. It's down here, right? No. Winds of Magic. Forest Harmony. Here. Blessing of all. Duration of three days. All troops in your party gained 10% physical resistance. So this is not a, now the time to fight stuff. Well's Anvil. This should be another city. Maybe not. Oh. First the gates. Central Castle. So there's nobody here. That's us, Militia of Walls Anvil, and Garrison. So, no one to see here. Faith. Ward save plus 1%, party leader, blessing duration increased. Gain access to all novice level prayer, battle prayers. Oh. I have no idea what that is. No idea what that stuff does. I don't think we'll give ages to go visit that.
So the Oak of Age is the heart of the Athelborn. Tree spirits. Communicate with the tree spirits around the oak. Commune with the forest. We do not have uh, enough forest harmony for that. Relief tree spirits. Donated spirits. I don't know what this is for. Guessing it's to protect the tree. Branches of the oak. So build outposts, strong branches, thriving leaves. So I guess the idea is we're supposed to help build up the tree. Old roots. Unlock the pathway to the forest of Arden. Unlock the pathway to Lorelarn. Pathway to Griffinwood. So, so nice pathways. But that's a lot of forest harmony. Tree symbols. Tree symbols. Choose one symbol activated for your party. The symbols provide strong enhancements, yet they do also provide strong disadvantages. Choose wisely. Only one symbol can be active at a time. Get the band. Increase your party size by 50%. Forest harmony gain is decreased by 20%. And wages. Oh, that's what we have right now. Start with the symbol of the war dancer. Player and companion gain 25% additional health and recover wounds 25% faster. All troops heal 25% slower. And forest harmony is gained 25% slower. Inch. Uh, decipher the symbol of the tree kit. Uh, upkeep is 50% lower. Wages of elves are 25% higher. Symbol. Magical chalk. What's my symbol? A blessing of all. This isn't the symbol I have. No, sorry, that's the blessing. This is the, no. Where is the symbol? I thought it was here. I guess we don't have a symbol right now. Which is fine because, man, that hurts. Is the tree extorting us? No, it's not extorting us. It's just if you want to, you know, help. As a wood elf, you're supposed to be helping the tree become better, right? So I'm going to have to work with what I have at the moment. So there's another shrine. No, why can't it become better by itself without demanding our money? It's not money that it's demanding. It's demanding our forest harmony. Mm, beat those guys out. I'm kind of hoping to get in on that fight. Another city. No one to recruit. What's this mission? So, location center. Rival gang moving in at Glade of Eternal Midnight. No. That's your personal problem. Do you have branch managers? Not yet. Someday soon, maybe. Five Beastman Raiders. I don't think so. Where are all the wimps to beat up on? Oh, I'm winning those wimps. Never mind. Teen Outlaws. Gets, oh, that's not going to go well if I do that. Oops. Carry on. Villagers of Nice. <laughs> okay, 12 outlaws. Let's go after them. I'm sure it'll go horribly wrong. I 
Nine would be better. Nineteen would be bad. Not gonna go well. <laughs> ah, this is going well. Villagers might join. Ah, the villagers don't really know me, do they? I don't think they're gonna help if I do a fight there. These guys aren't expensive, but I don't have really the money to maintain them. So cancel that. Wait here for some time. Good enough. Storm right there! This is a robbery! Make can work out something. All right, how much do you want for your life? Um, cancel. Oh, this is going to be a fast game at this rate. On my command! We are doomed. Now, what kind of magic do I have? I've got the little amber spear. I don't know what summer heat does. And ability not charge. Wrath of the wood. Career ability. I don't know what that does. Infantry charge. Deep wood inf charge. infantry charging. Wow, you guys suck. <laughs> My poor little peasants got overrun. Yeah, whatever. I've been imprisoned. I've been captured. Oh no. Now what should I do? I've got no money, no food, no troops. I get to wander around for a while until I get to maybe escape. It is time to take a break. Go stretch your legs. This break supports the purchase of Rocket's treats. Well, I'm kind of screwed here. If you here. would like to help Rocket feel like a puppy again, please visit gimpyneecom slash support or type exclamation point treats in chat. Thank you. Autosave. Your next break is in one hour. So this one. Why is it camping? One, two, three, and four. Looks like we're doing this one. Yeah, I can't do much with you. You don't have any money and no troops. You can't really do anything. You got nothing to sell. <laughs> Nobody to fight with or fight for you. Okay, so. It's right at 11. That's not too bad. Okay, so gonna take a break, get up, stretch my legs, get some water, and we'll continue on when we get back. So thank you very much for watching. Be back shortly. Enjoy the dog video.